I haven't read it, but but obviously there 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 you know the the argument that was always put out is that there was a land without a people for a people without a land. You know, right? So, we yeah. were taught that. Yeah. I was taught that. My grandparents were taught that. I really do believe, and I've said this before, that if my grandparents and great grandparents knew what was really going on, mm -hmm. that they would not have been okay with it. And in fact, most Jews were not okay with it until right. post-Holocaust, which of course we know the Zionists capitalized on that. Yes. Um, it really did help. And it didn't, it didn't help that the United States was turning Jews away as part of being in cahoots mm -hmm. with the Zionists to help mm -hmm. them form the state of Israel. Like mm -hmm. knowing this now, what I know, it's like, I try to tell people, it's not just finding out that Santa Claus isn't real. Right. It's finding out he's a mass murderer. Right. right. People right. do right. not understand how this yeah. is for like us to, to process. But something I wanted to point out that I'm learning in this book was this complete link between Zionism and racism. And mm -hmm. it's even been demonstrated. I don't know if you knew this, like throughout historically in the history of Israel, where they'll bring in either Ethiopian Jews yeah. Or, or Yemeni Jews or darker Jews to help build up their Jewish population. Yes. But yet those dark skinned Jews get treated completely differently yes. in the state. So it's like they're really wanting to use them for the fact that they're Jewish, but mm -hmm. they want to like de-black them, de-Arabize yes. them. Yes. Well, well um, I had a and obviously I would never, ever, ever. You know, I know that the the understanding as a young Jewish person that you were given the education about Israel was extreme. But I had a similar kind of mind blown moment as yeah. a Christian. Um, I grew up. Uh, I'm a Christian. I grew up a Christian. I'm not anymore, but I grew up a Christian. And uh, so we grew up with a great reverence for Israel. Um, we were taught a great reverence for Israel, both past, you know, both the biblical Israel and the current one. And we joined those together like like what. And I remember even just telling Ahmed one time that, you know, when I was a kid, I wasn't watching the news and remembering everything and staying up on everything. But for some reason, I knew who Yitzhak Rabin was. You know, and I, you know, I knew. Who, and I was like, I don't know why I knew who Yitzhak Rabin was, but it was just a part of, you know, our understanding of the conflict over there. So I can empathize and I would even take your analogy even farther. It would also be like if you found out the North Pole belonged to someone else completely different, too. So he's not Santa's not only a mass murderer, but he stole the North Pole from someone. <laughs> um, but but um, what we learned when we went there is that Ethiopian Jews are moved there, um, uh, uh, darker Jews <laughs> are moved there as a part of construction projects. And then there is an Ethiopian Jewish town that is located right next to a toxic dump as well. Um, and they've been fighting for years to, you know, <laughs> to receive uh, better than substandard housing and conditions. Um, I've always said this, and I think it's a quote that is mine. And I, I always say it, say that because I heard other people say it. And I'm like, did I really say that? But being in Israel is like being in the past, the present and the future of the United States all at the same time. So okay. you, you, you see different, you know, as a black person and, and we did delegations with native folks from the U S as well. And so they, their perception of Israel as a settler colonial state was, you know, but as a black person going there and seeing the checkpoints, seeing um, how how lowly Palestinians are treated and also darker skinned Jews are treated and then seeing then seeing those same darker skinned Jews um, really, really fight for um, acceptance into that country and um, have to serve in the military and become some of the most virulent anti-Palestinian, you know, officers, you start to realize and start to see how the black experience in the United States and the level of technological advancement of their, of their apartheid state, you start to see, oh, that's coming. That's that's on the way. You know, that if that hasn't made it to the to the ghettos and slums of the United States, that's definitely on the way. And so um, the the project is very, very advanced. Um, and it's not just through propaganda, but it's through policy, it's through the way that they police the movements of people, the way that they talk 
And, and, and I'll just say this and, you know, I'll, I'll stop my rambling on, but um, it just blows my mind. I went this year. I, w- I went to Palestine this year. I was there over the summer and uh, this was my third time there. And uh, every time I go, I believe that I've uh, now come to a point where I've understood what's happening. And so nothing will surprise me. And uh, this time being there, uh, once again, um, seeing uh, now uh, that some Israeli schools are starting to bus Palestinian students into their schools and um, and wanting to scream, don't let your child go to that school, you know, and even though they've destroyed your school in your Palestinian village, um, you believe me, you do not want your child to go to that school in that Israeli city. It is going to spell doom for your movement, spell doom. It's going to be, you know, and so um, even just seeing that and witnessing that um, caused so much turmoil in me um, um, and to, to just experience Israel firsthand and see how they're learning from the U.S. and the U.S. is learning from them is a very sickening thing to understand. Yeah. I mean, make no mistake. They're us. They're an arm of us. Like we're, it's all just the empire, right? Like I mean, yeah. they're us and how they treat the natives. And I want to like one of the key things for me that is so important about this is completely detangling Judaism from Zionism. Please. And and uh, and that's something that a lot of people don't. Now, I actually think that the crap that Kanye was saying, and I don't even know the other basketball guy, whatever. That to me actually does sound kind of anti-Semitic. Well, to be one hundred percent clear, Kanye yeah. absolutely was anti-Semitic. Knew yeah. he was anti-Semitic. Said he was anti-Semitic, and w- it will continue to actually go down that road. Um, and so, I'm I would never in 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 a million years have any defense for anything that he said, and he knows what he's saying as well. Right. I mean, but th- like when we normally use that, like when people would say, oh, Nina Turner, she's anti-Semitic, like that to me mm-hmm. is infuriating as a mm-hmm. Jewish person. And it is, they're completely different things. And I'm actually very proud to be a Jewish person. Mm-hmm. Um, Judaism existed long before Zionism. And I yeah. like to think it's going to exist long after it. Mm-hmm. And Zionism is a white European concept of mm-hmm. colonialism. Yes. And I, people need to understand that because there were, and this fascinates people, there's Palestinian Jews. Oh, yeah. There are Palestinian Jews. I know. It's crazy. Yes. And they were displaced and they are treated as lesser mm-hmm. and they are not given the same type of privileges that the Ashkenazi Jews, the white Jews from mm-hmm. Europe that settled there are given. So like Zionism is a form of white supremacy. Mm-hmm. And the, the sooner that people understand that, the better off we are. And it is nothing to do with being Jewish. At In all. fact, there's a lot of white evangelical Christian uh, Zionists. They mm-hmm. don't give a crap about the Jews. I no, know they, they don't, don't care about the Jews. <laughs> yes, they 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 actually pray for your destruction uh, so, so it could precipitate um, Jesus returning. Um, uh, you, you know, it's uh, um, and I know you were trying to jump in as well, but it, I, I it is a bald faced power and privilege move. Um, the, and in, in, in so many ways, if you've read, and I, I, I don't pretend to have read all the Torah, but if you have read any amount of, frankly, the Bible, the Torah, the Quran, um, Zionism is an affront to everything that the Torah represents, uh, everything that Judaism really genuinely, truly represents what Hillel speaks of. What, and, and, you, and, you, and, and, and to see it, it really hurts. I grew up Christian to, and, and it's not my religion anymore, but I believe I grew up under the best of it uh, or, or the, the most the, the most the, the best teachings of it. And uh, to witness white evangelicals and what they have done um, in this country under the guise of, uh, you know, Christianity um, is is abhorrent. So uh, it is a white supremacist project. Uh, it should have no place in in Judaism, and it should it should never be uttered in the same sentence, right? Um, but yeah. that is how they've ele- they you know they've been able to use that for many many decades as their cover. I feel used. That's Mm -hmm. how I feel. As a Jewish person, I feel used Mm -hmm. and lied to and manipulated. And I would like to encourage other Jewish people to recognize this and speak out accordingly because that's the problem. And I don't want to be affiliated with that. I don't, I'm not with them. 
Those are yep. not my people. But I was in Israel a long, long time ago. It was summer of 87. Mm-hmm. I have family there. I've had family that have lived as settlers in the West Bank. Mm-hmm. Um, and I find it abhorrent. I, I, I would like to go back. I'd like to go as part of some sort of delegation. Like I'm always asking, like, if you ever hear of anything coming up, please forward it to me because I'd yeah. like to go. I will. Uh, and, and look, I, I'll go anywhere. Like I'm not scared. I'm not, you know, whatever, I, but I want to go with the right people mm-hmm. who know yep. I can't go there and be like that white Jewish girl taking pictures on top of stuff that I have no idea what was really about. Like I'm, I'm mortified. Granted I was 16. Yeah. So, yeah. so I didn't know, but, yep. um, now that I know I'm, I'm mortified. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.